Hey guys, today we're going to do a little introductory, just to give you a little flavor of what the Awaken the Power of Your Pelvic Floor course is all about. So as we know, our pelvic floor is not just some specific place in our body that we're going to just spot treat. Now, of course, we're going to work with this area, but we're also, we need to remember that it's connected to our entire body, into our entire biomechanics, our energy, all of it, circulation, blood flow, life force energy. Okay. So the pelvic floor is super connected to the feet. So if you tend to be a knock kneed person, you're going to have typically a lot more inner thigh tightness. And all of that tension and tightness is going to go up into the pelvic floor. Now, we just we don't know which one came first. Maybe it's the feet, maybe it's the pelvic floor, or maybe it's the jaw. So we work on all of the areas to create more flow in the body. So <clears throat> I just want to give you a few moves so that you can feel connected to these parts of your body. Okay? So the first one is you're going to come down. And we're going to do a little inner thigh stretching. So we're just opening up that bound energy from sitting too much, from feeling that tension and tightness, from clutching, from locking down in our pelvic floor. So stretching those inner thighs, coming forward and back a little bit is a really good way to open up three-dimensionally, really opening up where the leg attaches up into the hip and then uh, around to the pubic bone as well. Okay, now we're going to come down, extend one leg, inhale, reach the other one up, side bend over, and then other side, <sighs> and over, and now find a ball, any kind of ball, a squishy ball will do, a Pilates ball, sometimes they're called an over ball. This one's called the body sphere. This is one I designed specifically for rolling your pelvic floor. Now you're going to sit on the ball and you're going to actually just let your, your sits bones melt over the ball. So you're going to allow the pelvic floor to open and melt over the ball. And then you're going to point and flex your feet. And this is going to help you feel how connected the feet, especially that medial line it's called, through the inner arch, up through the inner shin, and up through the inner thighs are all connected. Try incorporating some breathing here because our pelvic floor, not only is it a, an emotional organ, it's also a breathing muscle as well. Okay, and then do a couple circles. <sighs> Feeling your breath. And feeling things starting to unwind. Okay, and then bend one knee, bend the other. Open up that medial line. Create space through your center line. Okay, now crossing the legs. You're still sitting on the ball. Actually, I'll turn to the side to show you guys. Okay, so we're on the ball. Legs are crossed. And then you're going to take a big inhale as you extend, slide your sits bones up and back, opening them wide. Take an inhale. And then exhale as you round, flexing the spine, wringing out the organs. And then inhale as you extend, rolling over the ball, and then pull your sits bones a little wider if the ball isn't able to get in there. Okay, and then exhale under. And inhale as you arch. And then we're going to lean to the right big side bend, keeping that left sits bone down on the ball as you go to the right. Inhale, come up and take it over to the left. Drop that opposition, oppositional sits bone down as you reach up and over. And then we'll take it into some spine circles, unwinding that build up. And you'll start to feel the connection from the base of the core, the pelvic floor, sometimes known as the root chakra or the root energy center. And feel how connected that is to your sacrum and to your guts and lower back. 
So if you have any gut issues, any lower back issues, digestive issues, this can be super helpful to start untangling and unwinding the residue and the buildup. Okay, now feeling that ball kind of digging in there a little more. Okay, now you're going to bend the knees, still sitting on the ball. Inhale, lift your heart, open your chest. And then this time, exhale as you extend and roll the ball toward the pubic bone as you fold forward. This is going to really increase your hamstring flexibility if you're a person that's more of a tighter person like me. And then inhale as you bend. And then exhale as you roll to the pubic bone and you can flex the feet. And then rock a little side to side, bending the knees. The ball will roll from side to side, bending and straightening, giving your pelvic floor and inner thighs a nice little massage. Beautiful. And then just stand up for a moment. and walk around and notice how much more open and flexible your legs are. And when your legs feel that sense of lightness, your back can start to unwind and then you can actually connect to your core a lot more efficiently. Okay, so now that we're nice and open and connected through the medial line here, we're gonna do a nice little plie. Now for people that have issues, let me see if I've got a big ball in here. Ah, I do. So if you have issues going all the way down into a deep squat, we're going to modify with the big ball, okay? So if you're good, you're going to come up, come all the way down, and you're going to feel, wow, I can go so much easier down here after doing that, rolling with the ball and breathing and unwinding and kind of, you know, doing that spiraling. Okay, and then we're just gonna rock side to side here. Now, if you can't go down like this, by all means, grab a big ball and go down as far as you can and just rock a little side to side. You're still getting so many benefits of opening the pelvic floor, creating this nice eccentric length around the knees and shins and thighs. And then do a couple circles here. And if you're with me down here, come back here and just rock a little side to side. Now, if you're on the ball, stick on the ball. If not, you're gonna go up, inhale, and exhale. Now, if you're on the big ball, this big squishy ball, then just go up and down from here and go down to the ball. And if you want to come all the way down, please, by all means, do that. This is a very important primary move that our bodies really should be able to do all through our lives. All through our lives. Inhale. And exhale. And last one. Beautiful. Then we're going to do a little side bending here. And then reaching the arms back, little head release. And now reach those arms up and then lean your hips around. So we're going to get some of that circular shot key energy, that goddess energy coming through your body now. Now that we've peeled away that rigidity, cleared away the blockages, whether they're physical, emotional, environmental, epigenetic, whatever it is. Now we can start kind of unwinding with a little bit more juiciness and flow. And then just add some nice movement, rhythmic movement. You could throw some fun music on. Let the head go. Feel your feet. Reaching and reaching. Oh yeah, feeling that stuff starting to unwind. Okay, now just standing on your feet, 
hand on heart, hand on belly. Spread your toes. Come back into the present moment. Reconnect back into your body. Pull your energy or your soul back into yourself so that you can start living again in these areas that we've just cleared the pathway for. Inviting your soul, your energy, your creativity, your magnetism, your radiance back into your body so that you can start tuning into the whispers of your body so you don't have to hear the screams. You can start enjoying your body more, feeling less limitation, less chaos, more calm, less density, more lightness, less matter, more light, more energy, more frequency, and more vibration. So honoring yourself for taking a few moments and trying something new. (sighs) And then opening your eyes and just feel how different you feel. Remember, this era is all about getting better at feeling, not just about feeling better. Because we've been numbing ourselves for so long. So now we get to come back home to our bodies. Remember that our body is our one true home. And start to listen to our bodies, the wisdom of our bodies. And it's kind of like my new saying is, we used to have to see it to believe it. But now we're living in a world where we actually have to feel it to believe it. So your body has an incredible intelligence just waiting for you to wake it up. As we step into the world of AI, I believe that we need to really develop our BI, our body intelligence, so that we can harness the incredible energy that we have inside of us and and, um, even experience some incredible upgrades with getting to know all the wisdom of the body and uncovering so many of the incredible things that are available from the inside out. You know, it's like we are all born as natural born healers. So with that said, I'm inviting you to join me for my course, the Awaken the Power of Your Pelvic Floor, and by the way, everything else. So get ready to step into your power with me and our small crew, and I will see you there.